Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There's a like a button where you can do it. I don't know. I've never seen it before. Maybe just like click it. And also there's like a bell. You can click that as well. Anyway, yeah. Woo! We made it. I can't I can't believe it. Yeah. So remember um for like <laughs> Four, five, 15 and a half months, uh, we've been talking about today, like actually today, like not jokingly today, like actually today. So for those of you who haven't been keeping track and have been living under a digital rock um, at some point, economy bad, things not looking good, Fed need rate cut, market still in peril. So back in good old 2020, you know, where nothing crazy happened and everything was completely normal, we had a situation where the Fed and multiple other countries basically decided that the only way to bring us back to normalcy, as opposed to giving money to people, to citizens, to helping out the, the everyday man and woman, uh, they decided to print trillions of dollars and give them to companies and corporations and to like keep markets um, afloat. And now, wouldn't you know it, four years later, we're dealing with the repercussions of their actions. And as such, uh, we're now at the point where, after having inflated the U.S. dollar to near infinity... And also um, risen interest rates across the board. This is like every single bank did the exact same thing except for the Bank of Japan, which we're also going to talk about because that's also a little bit shaky right now as well. We are at the day. It is today officially and tomorrow, both days back and forth. We are expected to hear from the Fed, the Federal Reserve of the United States of America, who is basically going to tell us if we are all like slightly in trouble or if we're completely doomed. One of two one of three things is expected to happen. The first is that the Fed is going to announce that they're cutting interest rates. It's time, it's overdue. Banks have been calling for this in January. You might remember if you look at my videos from January, the banks have been calling for this since January, basically stating that the Fed has to lower interest rates because the economy wasn't doing too well and was going to do unweller if this entire situation continued. And wouldn't you just know it? As the year went on, things got worse. Crazy, right? Yeah, when you have very high interest rates and the entire economy runs on debt. And creating new money, when that doesn't happen, like people lose their jobs and they get fired and companies stop hiring people. I just, we're not going to talk about it, but I just saw a video. I'm not joking. This guy and like showed evidence. He said he applied this year. He said he lost his job. Right, blah, 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 blah. He quit his job. He wanted to do the whole like silent quitting kind of thing. And he was like, I don't need this job. I'm going to find another one. He said he applied to 880 jobs, 880, over the course of this entire year. And he said he had three callbacks, like three like uh, extra meetings with them or whatever, appointments. No job, nothing, not a zilt. He said he literally like doesn't understand. He said he sent out 880 CVs or resumes. Uh, two people and jobs and companies and none of them got back to him except for three and then he never made it to the next round of the interviews. So the idea is that the Fed is either A, going to cut interest rates. Got it. But the idea is that they're going to cut it by 0.25 points. We've been over that before. The idea is they need to do some kind of a cut. The expectations are September... November, potentially December, being the time frames when they're going to cut interest rates three times, as analysts believe that we need at least three cuts this year to propel the momentum upward that shows that the Fed is serious about basically recovering the market and not everyone living in complete economic agony. B, that they might cut interest rates by 50 points. Here's where the kicker comes in because we were also just talking about this. Multiple banks, Swiss banks on the screen are all talking about that the Fed needs 
to cut it by 0. 0.50 points, half of a point, and that they need to do this in September, November, and December. We've basically come so far with high interest rates that if they just do 0.25, they're expecting the economy and the stock market to go up a little bit and then to basically come ripping and roaring down because the rate cut is not enough. However, if you cut it by 0.5%, basically you're indicating that you need to jump ahead forward, that there is a mistake that was made, and basically instead of cutting it by a fourth, you have to cut it by half because you basically messed up before and you have to kind of continue accelerating until you actually get to where it needs to be, if that makes any sense. So, other analysts are now calling for a rate cut, September, November, December, of half a point, half a point, half a point. And they're saying that we need a 1.5 drop in the interest rates across the board to kind of really get things revved up all over again. The expectation is that even with multiple interest rate cuts, that we're probably probably not going to see a real recover real recovery in the actual economy. I'm not talking about like stock market prices. Like the actual economy that's not doing well until about spring time where multiple quarters have gone by and then the, the the corporations and the companies go, "Okay, we can start hiring again." Because if you missed it around spring, summertime, uh for some reason all the time, I don't know why, in the cryptocurrency news was like about like job layoffs. I, 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 I promise you, I have no idea where they came from. Uh, but there was a lot of stuff about like 15,000 jobs, 30,000 jobs. Some of these like corporations were like literally like cutting half of their staff, which is also just completely insane. So this week is going to be bananas, B-A-M-A -A, bananas. The Federal Reserve today has a two-day meeting and everyone is expecting a rate cut. Oh, I forgot C. There's three things that might happen. C is right here. Uh, C is that they might not cut rates at all. Surprise! Yeah, there's some analysts who think that the Fed might still wait a little bit longer just to get like extra lower inflation than we currently have. It doesn't seem too likely. But the Fed has also wasted multiple years not lowering interest rates and letting the economy become what it currently is. So we're expected to hear news today from the Fed and then kind of like final finishing thoughts at some point tomorrow as to if they're thinking about potentially cutting rates again. Brazil's Central Bank is going to have their next interest rate policy meeting on Wednesday. The Bank of England and Norway's Central Bank, oh, okay, okay, that's a lot, and South Africa's Central Bank are also expected to have interest rate decisions on Thursday. They got Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then to top it all off to make everyone completely terrified until like Friday night, apparently, the Bank of Japan is also expected to give an interest rate decision as well. Some of you are scratching your heads and other of you are like, oh, snaps. Remember when the markets dropped dramatically in the beginning of August? That was because of the Bank of Japan. They rose interest rates. And people are now terrified because the Japanese economy is bad. Like it's like not it's not it's not doing good like at all. Their currencies plummeting. Like everything doesn't look rosy for a lot of people in the country. The expectations are that the Bank of Japan is also going to raise interest rates, but we don't know when. People are expecting, hoping that they won't announce anything now and that they'll probably raise them at the very end of the year and or the beginning of January to basically say, hey, we need to raise them, but kind of setting everyone else up for the, 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 the big decision, if you will, because a lot of people are terrified right now of any bank raising their interest rates. So 
it's going to be a doozy of a week. Um, I know that the news has been getting like quite redonkulous as of late between uh, price predictions for Bitcoin, the cryptocurrency market not moving, current nonstop world events. I, I, if, if I could figure out how to make a time machine, I would probably just loop back to 20, 2005 and just keep you know looping over and over because I don't get why the world keeps getting crazier and crazier, but... Um, yeah, so there's a lot of fear, indecisiveness, no one knows what's going on, a lot of tech stocks are completely all over the place, I'm seeing mixed signals for NVIDIA and all these other companies because no one really knows what to do and no one really knows what's going on, so we'll see by the end of this week. I give it Friday evening. Uh, if you know, if, if you're watching this video on Saturday, tell me what happened because I'm, you know, confused. We'll see what happens. Um, expectations, at least forty percent of analysts are saying that if we get a 0.25 or a 0.5 percent rate cut, markets should begin to recover, especially as the money printers get turned back on. But you know, nothing nothing feels stable right now. Anywho, I do hope that you've all enjoyed something. I, I don't know. I do hope you all are having a great day. Great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, wherever the heck you might be. I do hope it is absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and supporting. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.